uh, the, the long history of PR, uh, you know, 200 year old uh, industry, uh, you know, really, really sort of taking off uh, as a, you know, as a marketing uh, force, you know, with the invention of the telegraph uh, in the early 1800s. Uh, and, you know, it really didn't change for a really long time. You know, there were minor channel innovations with you know, television and radio and uh, then, then, then cable uh, news uh, and, you know, distribution uh, for, uh, for print that, that got more sophisticated and just started getting national magazines and those sorts of things. But all of those were, were really rounding errors. There was another force at work uh, that, you know, in, just in the recent history, of you know the last 15 years and that was digital uh and digital profoundly uh morphed uh not just pr but 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 the rest of uh of marketing uh as well and if you think about uh you know the cmo uh and I, broadly speaking uh and how digital transformed the the way that they that, that they market marketed it really put them on you know kind of this drumbeat of integrated uh, marketing and if you think of it in terms of like the peso model paid uh you know earned shared owned uh you know digital created mass copyright money. copyright genie dietrich right we have to give uh, her credit yeah. right exactly uh you created ma massive uh, opportunity but uh but also massive complexity so you know on the paid side we got programmatic marketing uh, and you know that the complexity of that to manage, you know, got us App Nexus and they're great. Exit AT and T, you know, Blue Kai, and you know, just a, a, a stack of of uh, DSPs, DMPs, you know, acronyms uh, out the wazoo uh, to help the marketers capitalize on it. You know, as uh, as you know, being uh, you know one of the the most successful HubSpot partners, uh, our own media became incredibly. Uh, uh, an incredible opportunity for organizations, uh, but also really complex because now all of a sudden uh, organizations had to build and manage and own their own audience instead of renting it from uh, from some media company. Uh, and so you got HubSpot and uh, and the others like Marketo or or Elkwa or uh, exact, even Exact Target and some of the, the email management uh, uh, players. Uh, and then, you know, in 2000 and, you know, you know, four, 2008, uh, kind of time frame, you started to, to get social. So all of a sudden you had shared media, uh, and that was scary for the CMO because their audience started talking back to them. And so you've got, you know, companies like Sprinkler where I came from or, uh, uh, and, you know, that was amazing. But when you look at earn media, which is really everything from PR through influencer management, uh, there's no platform to, to deal with that complexity. Uh, and, you know, and that was really the, the mission of, of Trinkai. So you can kind of think of, about it two ways. The, the first way is, you know, what do you do in digital PR? Like what's the work you have to do? Uh, and we try to build solutions uh, to make that work easier. Uh, so one of the, the you know, higher value tasks in digital PR is all of kind of the research uh, tasks because PR really uh, provides uh, you know, the world with the, and the organization with you know, the most insight into the target market uh, that, they're, that they're going after. So we offer a lot of research functionality uh, in uh, you know, things like media monitoring uh, and analytics. Uh, we offer uh, insight into influencers with uh, the world's largest uh, influencer database, over 700 million uh, social profiles that, that have some influence or some target market, uh, and, uh, and then social uh, monitoring uh, and analytics that you know, lets you tap into the conversation and the topics that are resonating uh, with the target market. So we, we do a lot there. And then we help organizations to generate uh, earned media because that's actually super hard. Uh, you know, you might get your amazing TechCrunch article when you uh, get a funding round as a high tech company or you launch a product or you buy a company. 
very hard to you know call up uh, a reporter at TechCrunch and you know tell them you need another ten articles this month in order to meet your sales quota. So uh, we offer tools uh, to help with uh, journalist identification and outreach uh, for your online uh, you know print you know, broadcast sort of outreach. Uh, so you can think of that like a, a, the old media contact databases. Uh, we also offer, as I, I mentioned, the, the, the influencer database for the, the social platforms. Uh, we offer uh, a super uh, innovative uh, product to help you build your message and deliver it uh, to, uh, to those journalists. We call it StoryKit. Uh, and you actually build an interactive uh, uh, version of your story with all of the content that, that the journalist uh, is going to need to write the story uh, or create the earn media uh, about you. It gives like all of the, the background material, will give the analytics uh, to that journalist so they understand, uh, you know, what, what's going to resonate with an audience uh, and what's not. And then we'll benchmark that against the journalist's other uh, stories uh, so they know how this will probably perform relative to the things that they, that they normally write. So you make it easier for the journalist to write the story, you make it easier for him to pitch it to his editor, essentially. And then we offer uh, capabilities uh, around, you know, kind of the nurturing of those journalists, the relationship management. So running your social nurture campaigns, uh, your email outreach uh, campaigns, and then maintaining the, the activities and statuses uh, of your relationships with journalists. So, you know, I have a respect for, for Kevin Ackroyd, uh, the decision CEO. Uh, he ran Oracle Marketing Cloud. So, you know, obviously the, the reason he's at Cision is he looked inside, uh, you know, his his platform at Oracle, saw where the hole was, which is the same one I described, which is there's no platform for earned media, and that's where he's, you know, that's what he set out to do uh, at Cision. So I can't fault Cision uh, on their vision. Uh, you know, the, I think the challenge uh, there is just, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, you know, it's a it's a communication cloud to help you pull together all the legacy tools uh, that were mainly uh, uh, invented for kind of the analog PR era, you know, the invention of the telegraph, the invention of, uh, you know, of, of television, you know, not for the digital era. And so in some ways, I'd say that, that we compete, but in other ways, you know, we focused on uh, the other end of the spectrum. Um, yeah, so uh, a, a few advantages, uh, and, and I, won't, I won't pick on Cision, but just the media contact database concept in general uh, is, uh, there's a few issues with it. One is uh, finding journalists uh, is largely predicated, or journalists that, that, that move somewhere else, uh, is largely predicated on labor uh, to find. Uh, and so what you end up with is a lot of really stale data. Uh, so you know, there's, there's always the, the media monitoring joke about how many dead people you're going to find in a, a search, uh, which is morbid, but uh, unfortunately true, just because you know, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of people, it's, it's a real challenge uh, to, 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 to find them. Uh, what we did, because we were kind of born in the, in the digital era, is we literally, you know, we, we monitor probably five, five million uh, online sources, uh, and we literally watch when content gets created, uh, and then we use uh, AI, specifically uh, natural language processing, named entity extraction, to find the people that wrote that article, and then uh, we use classifier algorithms uh, and uh, fuzzy match algorithms to to glue those people back together. Uh, into you know one unified uh, person. So, you know, when you talk about finding the new journalist or the journalist that just went to another publication, uh, you know, we're doing that the second that 
uh, that the, they write the first article or the latest article. So it's super fresh uh, data. So that, that's one thing. And you think about that, uh, you know, I, I saw a really depressing stat. That the average tenure of a journalist in New York City uh, is now less than one year, uh, according to Indeed. Uh, you know, that's rough. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a heartbreaking picture of the, the Washington Post that came out back in May, I think, that showed their editorial staff five years ago versus today. And they, they kind of blacked out, uh, kind of cut out all the people out of the, the picture uh, that, had, uh, that had been fired or had left. And you were left with, you know, a handful uh, people, maybe 10%. Uh, and the punchline of the article was they were publishing it because the next day there's going to be another round of layoffs. And, uh, you know, so journalism is, is under attack. And, and now that most of them are freelancers, they're, they're writing at multiple publications. That's really hard to keep track of them all. That's the first advantage. The second big advantage yep. is it's not all about journalism anymore. Uh, you know, when you get your, your placement for a client, uh, or if you're an in-house team, when you give the interview and they write the, the great story about you, uh, you know, that's just the start of a conversation that's going to take place uh, in social channels. Uh, and so the influencers in, uh, on social platforms are becoming as important or more important uh, than the journalists who create the, you know, the, the you know, high you know, readership, uh, viewership content in the first place. Uh, and as I, I said, there's over 700 million uh, social profiles that have an, an outsized level of influence over some specific target market. Now, there's, there's one more significant uh, advantage, and that's in targeting, uh, because digital has made the world incredibly uh, complicated relative to the old world. So in the old world, when you would use a media contact database, you're really talking about, you know, beats, uh, and you're talking about locations. Maybe if you're fancy, you're talking about titles, and that was that was your targeting. You know, now then, it's not enough to, to say who are the technology journalists in you know Seattle, uh, you know the Bay Area, and New York. It's you know I need to know who who the cryptocurrency uh, journalists are that are writing about ICOs right now. You know. Was out a client that's about to do to to, to do one or something. You know, that's that's hard to target uh, as uh, as audiences uh, get more fragmented, uh, and so we have super advanced uh, targeting capabilities uh, so that you can get down to the exact people uh, that are going to carry your message the best. We'll make the we'll make that first category super easy and. Uh, and uh, you know, optimize the impact of you know those one-off event uh, uh, off event list. Then we'll automate and manage the the nurture program, relationship building program with uh, with the folks in the second list. And then uh, we'll you know we'll help you through uh, partnerships with Business Wire as well as. Uh, capabilities in our platform to then do the broad-based distribution and then measure the, you know, the thing that's most valuable out of that, which is the, the organic pickups so or the organic coverage and reach of you know, what, what would otherwise be the, you know, kind of just shoot it out into the night and hope you got some value out of it. Absolutely. So we think of it like a like a, a funnel, uh, just the same way that you would uh, in you know digital marketing uh, and on media. And so at the top of that funnel is really brand impact. You know, how are you impacting awareness? You know, uh, mind share, reputation. Uh, some of the most compelling things that that you can do over there uh, in, in that area uh, is we make it super easy to. Uh, measure uh, the progress that 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 your awareness efforts uh, are taking. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a messaging platform that, that you've launched. And you want to see whether or not you're influencing uh, the use of the 
of the, the platform's key tenets or, or maybe it's you're your coining a, a new category or space or you want to see if you're, you know, the share of voice that you're getting for that over time, the, the key messages uh, that, that you're trying to, to, to drive into the market, how, how's that doing over time competitively. So all of those sorts of things are usually a pain in the neck, but required to answer the, the brand question. And we, we automate those uh, in, you know, in seconds or minutes. And then the, the middle of that funnel, which I think is the most, uh, you know, kind of uh, part is digital impact. Uh, and the thing that, that I think PR practitioners more than anything else uh, don't give themselves enough credit for and they don't measure uh, is SEO impact. Uh, you know, you think about, you know, if I have a HubSpot deployment, I'm obsessed over, you know, how my content is ranking on Google. Uh, and what I don't think about as much is I just got a phenomenal article written about uh, the new product uh, that we're launching. How's it ranking for the same keywords? And was I successful in the, the, the 40 pieces of my product launch in getting the, the keywords that I'm trying to rank for uh, into those super high domain authority publications? Uh, and so doing that analysis is really easy uh, in Trinkite. Uh, traffic is the next big digital uh, measurement that people ought to be doing. It's like, you know, the same way that I'm seeing what I'm getting you know, off of search or what I'm getting off of paid, you know, how much traffic am I getting from, uh, from the, the placement that, that I invested my PR labor in? Uh, and so we'll help you to measure that. And then we'll do that in a pretty innovative way. So we'll, we'll tell you uh, if, if you think about the, the paid analogy. If I were if, if I were the, the paid digital marketer, I'd think about click throughs and view throughs. We'll give you those same sort of equivalents. Uh, if you got a backlink, that's kind of the equivalent of a of a click through, uh, and we'll help you measure those. All right, we could take the entire conversation we had about media lists and apply it to publication lists because you have the exact same uh, potential for, uh, mm -hmm. for, for disrupting uh, all of that. We, we look at a few things. You, you talk about trust flow. You know, one of the things that we look at isn't just you know, the demographics that the, the, you know, the, the publisher will give you about the people that, uh, that read their stories. And you can see those in, in, in some, some tools uh, in the market. You know, we actually look at the demographics of the audience that those stories resonate with. So you can really start to get some really interesting data about how to prioritize the publications that, uh, that you want to get your byline in. And then in the same way, you know, you broke down exactly, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, media contacts, you had the exact right view of the, you know, kind of the three, uh, the three buckets to think about it in, in terms of, you know, the targeted outreach and then the, you know, the, the, the medium touch nurture and then, you know, the, the broad based distribution in the same way in publications, um, you know, you have a, a very, a very similar, uh, a very similar analogy in, the, in that middle bucket where, you know, you know, you have the put a bunch of work in and get a, get a byline uh, and you know, there's a middle bucket where uh, you you still they're still going to write the story, but uh, you make it super easy for them to write the story. So you take on more of the work, and that was really one of the main use cases for our story kit uh, to try right. to create uh -huh. a middle ground b between the journalist who's you know who isn't going to invest four hours unless it's a great story uh, in you know in writing it themselves, and then the other end of the spectrum where you know, you're gonna you're gonna take on all the time and and build the byline. There's a there's a really happy medium uh, that our story kit product kind of fills and enables. One of the one of the mandates of uh, you know our product strategy uh, is uh, is Martech integration, and honestly, that's because the CMO has been you know, on this integrated marketing march for years and years and years now. And so vendors uh, uh, in the software world 
have to be on that same train because for the very reasons that, that, that I'm, I'm sure drive uh, your desire to, uh, to have integration. Uh, and so we have uh, a list of, uh, of MarTech uh, solutions we integrate with from HubSpot to uh, you know, to the, 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 the Adobe's of the world or, or the Marketo's, uh, are the, uh, you know, the Google analytics, like, you know, you go through, uh, those vendors, uh, and, you know, part of that is just because you need the data flowing between those systems, uh, to, to, to really do good attribution. Uh, but then it's also because so many digital marketing use cases are now, uh, crossover use cases. So for example, you know, one of the best sources for content uh, for, you know, your, your own blog uh, or your social feeds is the, the thought leadership aligned uh, earned media content uh, that, that you have nothing about. And in fact, isn't even, it doesn't even mention you. They just have the same worldview. So you can actually then forklift the authority that you get from somebody else's amazing uh, content uh, and, you know, wrap uh, around it uh, uh, so that you get, you know, kind of the halo effect. It, at least at Trink Heights, you know, we're, we're less than a year away from Nirvana. And we haven't even talked about paid, for example, uh, which is the last leg of that, of that stool. Uh, which has just as much opportunity for, for integration and innovation.